Hello, high carb fruities. I need to make this video. So, um, this is especially like in the frame of the SBS startup November group, the Safe by Sugar startup group, because I think that some of you may need the information I'm going to give you. Now, um, this is very essential because it affects, what I'm going to talk about affects your well-being, your, like, if you are going to be able to maintain your lifestyle or not. And it's not going to be about the diet, but primarily about exercise. Well, to be, to be, um, to be exact, it's going to be about overtraining. And before you switch off and kind of say, oh, okay, overtraining, I'm far away from that. Like, I'm not doing training every day or whatever, or I'm not doing intense training. Please uh, stay tuned because, um, I was the same. I was thinking... Anybody else can have can be overtraining, but not me. And basically, you don't need to do an excessive amount of training in order to be overtraining because everyone's different. And depending on where you start, you can also overtrain by going for a run only three times a week. Like, it depends on how intense you do it and how how often you do it and how long you do it every time you go for a run. But, I don't want to get into this too deep now. Um, this is going to be a very, either a very, very long video or, like, maybe I'm going to divide it in different parts. But if it's different parts, make sure you really watch every part of it because it's... It's so essential, like really, I I crashed myself, I, I burned myself out by not noticing I'm overtraining. I really literally burnt myself out and I I was miserable for a few months um, and had to doubt my diet and couldn't tolerate this healthy diet as I was supposed to and as I used to. So um, it really, really, really affected me in a huge, huge way. And I don't want this to happen to anyone, like, because it was so horrible. So, um, yes. So why do I think others might run into these issues as well, like, yeah, like me? Um, yeah, very easy. So I know, or I just... I just think, well, I actually know that a lot of you who, like a lot of us in this community, um, in the Safe by Sugar community and in the whole health movement and vegan movement don't want, like, th this is not only for the Safe by Sugar group, but like this is the, the opportunity that I take. So um, a lot of us come to this lifestyle, come to the high carb low fat vegan lifestyle because they want to get healthy and especially this startup november is is so like energetic and it's so vibrant and everyone is just like wow this community i feel the support i feel like the energy i, I feel like they, they take the opportunity and the chance to actually change their life once and for all like finally and I know how emotional that is and how, you know, so many things are playing a role in that. Like the whole life can be changed. It's not only about diet. It's about the whole lifestyle and about realizing dreams. And I could go on and on. But the reason why I say it is you, you start a whole new life, a whole new health, and by that you can be so energetic that like that was the case with me that you do more than your body is actually able to do like uh, able or able 
it is able to do it, but the question is for how long? It is able to do it, but the question is can you sustain it? Can, can you maintain it um, over a long time? And I couldn't, <laughs> as I had to find out. I just want to make you aware of that, of that, of that, of that energy, which is great, and really, it has to come out some way. But like, don't overdo it. Don't think, don't think you are God, and don't think you can do anything without borders. Like, of course, I know my mindset is also I can do anything. Nothing is impossible and all of that. That is not what I mean. I don't want to restrict that. But just be aware of what your body, it, on what level and fitness level your body is right now. And don't expect yourself to be able to run a marathon tomorrow if you're just starting to run. And I know a lot of people, like a lot of us are starting running now and that is incredible and awesome and do it and whatever. Okay, that, that is so much better than doing nothing or being depressed or whatever. But the, you know, the, the, the line, the borderline to doing too much is so, 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 so fine. It can happen so fast that you overtrain, that you overdo it. And even without noticing it, I didn't notice it. I didn't notice it, and that was a really, really, really big mistake. And I, I, I ignored symptoms that I got, that showed me, that warned me, "Hey, hello, here's something going very, very wrong." But I ignored them. I, I just, I just didn't take them serious enough. So that is why I want to make you aware of this topic and please stay tuned if like this is so important like I cannot emphasize it enough so you are asking yourself how, so how I felt like when I started the lifestyle it was like this I demonstrated oh yes oh yes I can do this oh I'm so healthy I feel so vibrant I feel so energetic I've never felt like that in my whole life and like I wanted to embrace the world and I also did and I started exercising so like smashing down the carbs started like you know so mu started to do so much more than before but um, like uh, I did too much in the end okay so and I put a lot of my energy into exercise. I started to exercise every day, like an intense and and you know, like. But at the beginning, I also felt like that. I felt like yes, I want to go out and sure. If you have that um, that feeling, like th then you should listen to it and just do it, of course. But I think with me, it was a case that I kind of didn't feel when it when it kind of dropped so I couldn't really distinguish anymore between like do I really have this um, this how do you say this excess excess energy or am I pretending or just thinking that I have all this energy this excess energy and it kind of for me it just it just became a um, a convention, like, oh, do you say convention? Like, I just got used to it, going out every day, you know, just like a program. And that is also good to have a program, so to just kick into your ass and go out and do stuff. But I now know that you can go too far with that. You can go too hard with yourself. You can become too ignorant to your body's needs when you just push the on button like 
and go out no matter what. So I just want to make you aware. I really don't want to um, say exercise is bad. Not at all. I love, I love to move my body, but it can make you sick as well when it's too much and too hard. Okay. So stay tuned. I have very, very, very great information for you. So basically, the the overtraining that I did over several months caused me adrenal fatigue but adrenal fatigue is something that no one knows about like okay not no one i admit <laughs> but it is something that that has not arrived in the mainstream uh, general medicine yet it's not considered a like normal disease yet but it is a disease and um like it's it's something like the like the high carb low fat vegan diet you know no doctor knows about it and still everyone should know about it and it's the same with with adrenal fatigue <sighs> basically like generalized you can say no one knows about it and um that is why it took me so long to actually notice where i'm at and what caused me all these symptoms when they were bad enough so that I, you know, that I started thinking about it. The thing is, I always knew about the existence of overtraining. I also, like, I did my homework, I knew I shouldn't do too much, like blah blah blah. And, but I never thought I'd ever get into this. Like, I thought it's only for professional athletes and who work out every day. Um, but in fact, anyone who challenges and trains his or herself more than the body can do um, long term, like consistently, if they challenge themselves more consist consistently more than their body can actually do in the long run, then like even if it's only a tiny bit too much every time, then he or she will crash in the long run. And yeah, so I knew about all of that, but um, I just didn't notice it. Um, I got adrenal fatigue due to my overtraining. And actually it was many months of overtraining, like the core of the overtraining, of the worst overtraining was in, in February, March, yes, these were the two months where I went out every day, like literally, and, um, but the months before I also did quite a lot of exercise. And I also, I, I was already in that, in that, pro, like, in that mindset of just going out there, like, it's healthy, no matter how, like, do it, and you want to get fit, so kind of kicking my ass, and, which is cool, but I did it too much, I think, or too, like, without really listening into myself. Um, so, I got adrenal fatigue by this, and yeah, for half a year, my, I, my intensity and, during, and duration and volume of my training was always so kind of on the edge, so it was okay, but already like, so I didn't feel I did too much, but it actually was already in, um, too much, and was too much stress for my body and so by that I was slowly running into the overtraining so it prepared me it kind of pre-grow pre-programmed me for over for being overtrained so and eventually any kind of stress overload of too much stress causes adrenal exhaustion 